Kathleen here from Families on the Horizon and you've asked multiple times what we pack and how we pack it and today I'm going to show you these are the only suitcases we have and what we travel with. They're 60 centimetre American Tourista hard case and we are packing for four people. This is all we've brought for 12 months so let's see what's inside. Alright so this is my suitcase, it's a lovely lilac colour, so easy to spot on the carousel at the airport, it's why I purchased it. It's looking a little bit grubby at the moment because it's been on a few planes and a few trains and a few ferries and buses and stuff like that so it's looking a bit ratty but it is doing its job. It's got a security lock on the zips already so you don't have to bring your own lock. That's all coded. So let's see what's inside. Now, mine has the bulk of my clothes and the kids' clothes and a few other bits and pieces. So it looks really messy today. It doesn't normally look this bad. We had a travel weekend and so we had a quick stopover. So we've got a lot of laundry, which we normally don't travel with this much laundry, but we've got a lot today. So I've got the laundry bag and now we carry a mesh laundry bag and this is about four days worth of washing. So this is a decent amount of washing. And I got a few extra bits in here as well. So that's our washing bag then I've got my toiletries bag now this one I bought specifically for this trip because this is a lifesaver I've got the kids toothbrushes and majority of all the toiletries in my bag here and it comes with a lovely hook that I can hook it up to and what do you feel like are some of the essentials that need to be in this bag oh, or what do you have in there what do I have in here I've got electronic toothbrushes I've got the hair shampoo the hair conditioner hair brushes got a little bit of first aid stuff moisturizer moisturizer is always very handy in these countries and lip balm and just all the essentials really and you don't know you don't wear much makeup do you? I don't bring any makeup this is just toiletries I do not bring any other makeup or anything so this is just toiletries for me and um, the kids toothbrushes are in here as well we bring an extra power board this is an Australian one we also have converters that go on the end of here but this is just a nice and simple spare one that we carry I carry a vacuum sealed bag also kids and I get cold so I brought them a jumper and myself a jumper and we've added a few extra bits along the way like we needed some leech socks for a um, trek that we went on and I think we've got a long sleeve thing for Jimmy in here as well so this is this is really handy because it obviously packs down to very very thin and I can actually mold it to my suitcase like it makes when you push it in there it actually goes in all the indents of the bottom of your suitcase so it makes it worthwhile having one of those now this is our lifesaver this is my little medical bag and it carries everything so we've got band-aids paracetamol, antihistamines, bug sprays, sunscreen. It's got the lot in here. This is this is our lifesaver, this one. This is our full on medical bag. Now it doesn't have to be huge. Mine's only like a little zipped up bag, but it's definitely essential to bring some stuff like this. We've also got like bug bite cream and tiger balm and just- Imodium. Imodium. <laughs> and hydrolyte. And hydrolyte, very important in Southeast Asia. If you do not bring those, mm, pack up and go home so <laughs> bring those as well and now we pack in packing cubes because these are much easier to um, sort out in a suitcase you can play tetris with these very well this is my bathers and underwear and socks so this is my little bag i've got the kids swim gear and our towels so this is just these are just really cheap kmart um, packing cubes but this has got three beach towels the kids swimmers and their rashies and their goggles in here as well so this is their swim is there stuff. any recommendations on towels towels oh good point there jimmy now we carry micro i don't even know if they're microfiber i think they're like more like a chamois they're kind of like a chamois towel now ours have a little elastic band because they do up nice and neatly and it's more like a chamois they're really quick drying and as you can see they're quite large they're quite large so these are our swim towels. Now these are really cheap. These are just Kmart sports towels and they fold up to an incredibly small size, but you want something that is quick drying and small to fold up. Now there are a heap of brands. I've seen so many brands that do these towels and they're quite expensive, but these are like $8 each and they are so easy to go in a backpack or just sling around your shoulder. I also use these as a sarong as well because you can tie up the corners on them. Works very well as a sarong if you need it to. So that's a tip is bring very small microfiber towels because if you're staying in Airbnbs or places like we do, they do not supply beach towels or pool towels. You have to bring your own. And then a pinched normal towel. 
Hand in the pinch if you need. Bring your normal towel, but then it's obviously going to be wet for night time. Anyway. And then I've got shoes in here. Now, I always put ours in just plastic bags. Whatever plastic bag we get from the shop, I keep them until they get holes in them. But this prevents any dirt, any mud, any sand, any kind of smell going into our suitcases. So I always just wrap them just quickly in plastic bags. So I have three sets of shoes, so mine and the kids are all in plastic bags. And we've only got one pair of shoes. We only have, so we only have a pair of runners and we have a pair of sandals. They're the only things we've taken with us. Sandals we use every single day. We walk them down to the beach, they go in the shower if we need to. They're our everyday shoe. We've just got really simple ones. I think the kids were like Athletes Foot Clark sandals, something like that. Mine are from Mountain Warehouse and Jimmy's got a special pair from the Philippines that he bought. They look amazing as well. So any decent walking sandal is fine. And then you definitely need a pair of runners. Ours are specific travel ones, very light, very... Uh, tropical feel brand they are and they're lightweight made from recyclable plastic dry really quickly you can wear them without socks because they've got the mesh there and it just dries out quickly or you can have socks on either way kids we just took them simple runners the runners dry overnight so it's not like you go out need to go out and buy expensive runners you just need to have some runners that are good quality their kids dry overnight there's like asics or something like that so Moving on to the second part of my suitcase. Now I always end up with something random in the middle bit here, which is just a zip up pocket. Jimmy and I also carry a sleep mask. Nice wide sides on these ones as well because you can get the little string ones and they just don't block out the light. So ours are very specific. Um, as you can see your eyes like indent in there and these are I don't even know the brand it's got like a bear on it well sleepy bear we'll link sleepy it on bear. Our, we'll link the link on Amazon always take a sleep mask because as you can see behind me we actually don't have any curtains in this room so these are very very handy Ooh, some random toys in there as well um, electrical toothbrush charge we only bring one of these for all four of us because all four of us sit on the same electric charger so right so as I'm emptying out my suitcase anything in particular that I find is really helpful for us I'll make sure we link everything here so that you can see where we got it from and what they are so helpful tips for you but yes I have some extra cables in here as well because you just never know what you actually need and we've had quite a few cables break in the time that we've had them we've thrown out about three because they just stopped working so we have some extra ones i have a suitcase scales because this is very handy if you don't pay for the extra weight in your suitcase and you need to be under a certain weight you need to know how much it weighs and you can get your suitcases weighed at the airport but i find doing it before we get there is much simpler and much more handy because I can then rearrange stuff between suitcases. Sometimes I've booked 20 kilos for myself and 25 for Jimmy and mine's been over and, and Jimmy still has some more weight to go in it so I can switch between suitcases then to make sure that everything's and what, good. And what are the weights of our bags at the current time? Currently Jimmy's is sitting at 25 kilos and mine is sitting at 23. So we've added some extra bits in that's probably why we've gone up. Mine used to be about 20. Jimmy's already always sat around 25 because he's got some heavier stuff in his but we're about 23 and 25 so we always book just 25 kilos of luggage when we go on Air Asia flights or any other cheap carrier. Always remember to book your luggage in. You do not want to get to the airport and have to book your luggage there and then. They will charge you through the nose. You always want to book it when you book your tickets. I've got some of the kids random like toys in here we end up buying like parachute men and like a little flying man and I have a roll of sticky tape kids craft stuff it's randomly in my suitcase right so this side I always leave all the stuff that can be packed flat in here so that's all of our packing cubes because it nicely zips in this side you don't want to put your bulky items in under the zip because you're going to end up with air pockets and space that you can't put stuff in so all the flat stuff needs to go under the zip side if you have two zip sides that's fine because you can just not use one side if it's bulky but definitely under the zip you need all the flat stuff right i you also use another one of these for our hats hats can get very very bulky i've actually got four wide brimmed hats in here and as you can see they are flat as a pancake so very very handy to have vacuum seal bags because they flatten nice down. Right, I've got another packing cube. These are any type of shorts, um, skirts or pants. All right, so just in regards to how many clothes we have packed, we have packed roughly five to six days worth of clothes each. So that's 
five shirts, five pairs of shorts, and then it might be another random item, like I have an extra skirt in there or a dress or something like that, but it's normally five to six days worth of items because we find once we get to that point, you have to do washing anyway. By the time we get to four days and five days, we need to be doing the washing. So as long as you have six days worth of clothes, it will get you through because you put your laundry in on the fifth day, you get it back, you still got another set of clothes for the next day. So we go with roughly five to six days worth of clothes with a few extra items in there, like gym clothes as well. I don't count that in my five days worth of clothes. Gym clothes is extra because you're gonna wear your normal clothes, then you put your gym clothes on, and then you might put your normal clothes back on or you have a shower and you go to bed. Either way. So yeah, five to six days plus gym or extras or bathers. And your clothes are pretty basic, right? Mine are very basic, like as you can see, shirt, I've got leggings on today only because we flew this morning and I like putting leggings on because the airplanes are freezing. Always take a small jacket or a shawl or something for the plane because crank the aircon and it is freezing, especially if you come from a hot, sweaty climate, you've hopped on the plane and they crank the aircon, you can get very sick very quickly. So always take a jacket as well, which I've got a small jacket. Not in this, it's actually in my carry-on bag is my jacket. And then for the kids, same thing. I've actually put the kids all in the same packing cube because I've got quite a big one. So they've got about six days. We have had issues because we they've ruined a pair of shorts or a shirt or something along those lines. So we've dropped a few pairs of clothes, but we've actually brought in a few more once. When we go traveling, we, we say, oh, he's got a hole in those. So we'll just pick up another pair of shorts. But yeah, five to six days. Undies, we take extra. I think they both have about seven or eight pairs of undies because you just never know when you need an extra pair of undies for kids. Like, they're just shocking. So, yeah, so that's all their clothes. Right, so you have to remember that on this trip, we have gone to Southeast Asia. So we know that we are always in a warm, humid climate. We don't actually have any winter clothes other than the jackets that I packed for the three of us on planes, for the planes, or we did need them in um, like Dermacot, one of the forest reserves, because we were going out at night time and it was possibly raining. But we only pack for summer. If we pack for winter, we would need probably an extra suitcase if we packed for winter as well. So this is just a summer suitcase. And now we get to the fun bit. I have all sorts of extras. So this packing cube has um, increased over the time, but it's still a good size. And I have multiple things in here that have come in handy. So I will show them to you. Right, we have gained a small wet bag. Very handy on snorkeling trips, caving, canyoneering, whatever it is. What size is that? This one is only a three litre. So this is a very, very baby one, but it fits in here like phones, a wallet, camera gear. Like it's a decent, I'll oh, open it up Like it's half my arm length and it's a pretty decent size in there. And by the time you roll it up, it gives you quite a bit of air. So you actually have quite a decent amount of space in there. But we found this little one is actually just quite good um, for trips like that. And it obviously flattens down and then I fold it as well. So they're very, very, very handy to have. This little thing here has saved our lives multiple times. This is a foldable backpack. It looks a bit ratty and it doesn't smell very nice. I've actually got to wash it because it keeps getting wet from bathers. But this little thing here has been one of the best investments that we brought with us because it folds up to nothing. You can throw your towels in here, your bathers in Ooh, here. It does smell. Yeah, it smells really bad. It, it needs a wash, that thing. So, foldable backpack is also recommended. Now, umbrellas we did not know we needed these until we needed them and we bought these well i bought this one in kl we had another one it broke and the kids actually had enough tickets at a time zone to get us this one so they love using this one because they got to use their tickets at time zone to buy it so highly recommend an umbrella in southeast asia because um they are definitely definitely very handy Kids do boxing, so I've got their wraps in my luggage as well. Boxing gloves in the other suitcase, just the way I play Tetris, but I've got their wraps in here. A waterproof phone case. We don't think this is a very good quality because I had an issue before, but if you can get a decent quality one, we would definitely recommend a good one of these because they're very handy when you go to the beach or on trips. You can just hang it around your neck, take photos without having to take your phone out. Just a quick one with that. It's not only for the water, it's for the sand too, oh, when yeah. you go to the beach. I forgot about that, for the sand. 
for all, all types of elements that will wreck your phone, you definitely need one of these. And then it comes down to ponchos. Now these have come in very handy. We actually bought these in Malaysia. The kids are the yellow ones and the green ones are ours. And obviously they pack up quite small. I kept their um, bags that actually came in because they fold up nicely back into their bag. Look, you don't have to bring ponchos, but we found there's been quite a few situations where we needed them and they're just very handy to have. They're, they're such a cheap item to take with you, even if you have to buy them over here. We've only ever spent, I think these were like $3 each Australian. So if you don't bring them and you just buy them over here, you don't have to have them in a packing cube. Like these ones can actually fit in the ruts of my suitcase. Like I used to have them just situated in the bottom of my suitcase like this and then put your packing cubes on the top or you have them in a packing cube like I do. Either way, ponchos are very, very handy. So that is what I have in a 60 centimeter American Tourista suitcase that weighs 23 kilos. So that's a pretty, that's a pretty decent amount. I feel like I've, I've um, it's very hard to pack. Well, not, not hard, but like time consuming because I need to find all the items. So I go along and I find all the packing cubes and I put all the items back in each packing cube that I know needs to go in there. And then I start from there and piece it all together. So if you do that and don't just find one bit and then another bit and another bit, you go in it with sequential order, knowing that I'm gonna fill up this one first and zip it up and then put bulky items on this side. It makes it much simpler for me, so. Yeah, if you have any other tips on how to pack suitcases, I'd love to hear them too. So this is this is seven months of me um, organising. All right, let's move on to the next one. Move on to the next one. This is an important bag. I completely forgot it was sitting at the bottom of my suitcase. This little thing here is a library bag, but it's actually got the kids' entertainment all out and family entertainment in this one. So these are all of our games that we have. So I bought these. They're actually makeup bags. They were from Aldi when they were selling them on special. They're like a Kate Hill, just a zip up, see through the classes makeup bags. They work really, really well for cards because they're heavy duty. And as you can see, I've got two packs in that one. That's Uno and Monopoly Deal. And then we've got Rock and Roll, which is another good game. And then in here, I've got quite a few different items. We've got Spot It, we've got Yahtzee, a normal pack of cards and Phase 10 dice. So that's all of our entertainment so that was sitting at the bottom of my suitcase in a bag like that and we'll do a full video on what to carry to keep kids entertained i think that's a video that everyone wants to see so we'll do that video in due course because yeah we've honed that in we carried a lot more than this and we've honed it into the games that we actually played all right so this is jimmy's doesn't look as grubby as mine because it's obviously um a darker color but this is a khaki green like an army green color and very very easy to see at the airport as well because obviously everyone buys black suitcases we have colored ones, so we can see ours very easily. Same um, lockable zip system, and this is a 60 centimeter as well. Would you recommend well. these American tourist ones? I would definitely recommend these. Like I did, I did so, so much research on suitcases, and I found the American touristers had the best reviews. They also have worldwide warranty. So if we were to break a wheel or the zip stopped working, something like that. I think it was a it was it was a decent amount of time on these as well for warranty and they're worldwide. So that's why I went with these because I knew that they had a good warranty, they had good reviews, they have a really tough outer shell, but it's not like it's still actually bendable. Um, it's not like a fully rigid case. And um, I liked the colours <laughs> because they did different colours. They do anywhere from bright pink through to black. So they've got a whole range and they always bring out different designs. This is the circular one. They have stripes and they have all sorts of things. Oh, these also expand as well. So there's an extra zip on these. And it gives you like an extra, I don't know, five centimeters of expansion for like bulky stuff so that's always handy we've well. never had to use that though we haven't had to use that yet so that's that's really good we know that we're keeping within our limit then if we don't have to expand our suitcase right jimmy's has a lot of stuff in it so let's go this is the heavy one right we have a whole swath of items going on in here so let's let's get started all right jimmy from the top Toilet shoes bag. Jim has very simple stuff. Toothpaste. Oh, I think something's been leaking in there. It's a bit wet. Toothpaste, shaver, hair gel, 
toothbrush, soap. Yeah, you've got pretty, you don't have anything yeah. over the top. Like yours is just a standard toiletries bag and we need to figure out what's been leaking in there. So that's fine. Next, we have the charger. We've actually just upgraded. My phone had issues with charging moisture in the charging port, of course. So we actually went and bought a wireless charging dock and then this one actually takes cables in the other side. So you can charge extra items while your phone is on the wireless charge. So we found that is extremely handy. And again, bring multiple cables. Like we have, I don't know how many of these cables for Nintendo Switch, phones, cameras, all sorts of junk. What else we got in here? Right, Jimmy's extra computer gear also sits in here because we're carrying a good quality microphone for his podcasts, his coaching calls, all of his work stuff, and his good quality webcam. These are too heavy for his carry-on, so they always get put in his luggage because you've got to watch your carry-on if it's only seven kilos. At some places we have seen they get weighed. So if Jimmy had these in here, this is, this is like a good kilo and a half, and that would make like two kilos. So always check what's going in your hand luggage and fit it in your suitcase if you can. Jimmy has some extra stuff in here. This is our gym bag. We have all sorts of bits that we brought with us. So we have gym towels. Gym towels because we get sweaty and they don't normally provide gym towels at like hotel gyms or maybe like five star hotels do but the places not the, hotels not the ones we've been at no gym towels and you don't really want to take your shower towel as a gym towel mm. jimmy's got some like knee braces more braces jimmy are you falling apart oh, yeah. like i feel like all i've got in here is like braces and then we've just got a few other bits and pieces like i've brought um bands like fitness bands and a skipping rope and oh like a different type of like that type of band like a longer exercise band little mini bike pump <laughs> And I'll let the mini back pump. This one blows up. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you for the kids' activities. So that is our gym bag. Very, very handy. And again, all of our stuff always goes in bags or packing cubes unless it is too big because it is easier for me to pack when it is in bags. Right, I was going to show you this. Basketball! I've recently just put it in a bag as well so it doesn't get damaged, but this is our full-sized basketball. And the kids love this because we blow it up and they can just run around and mess around with it. Their boxing gloves, obviously very, very bulky item. I've had to deal with packing these in there, but we've sorted it out, it's in a bag. Not a very big bag, but we've got boxing gloves as well. Jimmy's underwear bag only has seven pairs of undies in here. So yeah, they actually fit. <laughs> Do you want me to show you how, no. I, um, how I pack them in here so small? We don't have very many in here at the moment because it's washing day, but I actually fold them. So they're little stairs, look. <laughs> so guys, for the guys out there, if you're a big guy like me and you get chafing, these these tradie underwear, they're like microfiber plastic, have been a godsend. The they've been undies. one of the best pairs of undies I've ever had. And they've lasted so oh, well. Yeah. Like these are seven months and we've only got seven days. So they've been washed for how yeah, many they've weeks? Been the beach, like they've yeah. been in the beach, they've been in the pool and we have not had any issues and always fold them up so they're nice and small because then they fit in a packing cube. A couple of pairs of socks in there as well. Couple of socks, just standard anklet socks, nothing interesting. Oh, except a pair of grip socks. We always end up at a jump place. So we've kept a pair of their grip socks so we don't have to purchase another pair. Oh, Jimmy's shoes are in here. Plastic bag again, always keep them in a plastic bag because Jimmy's shoes stink. So, <laughs> always in plastic. Now, we've got our beast of a um, power board. This one also has a USB outlet on the end. Very handy to have extra power boards. So that's two power boards for us. And we've ended up also with an extension. This was a Malaysian one, but this was very handy because sometimes PowerPoints are on one side of the room and the table is on the other side of the room and you need an extension cord. So we carry that one just in case it um, circles up nicely and fits in the ruts. Always use the ruts in your suitcase to your advantage because you've got a decent amount of gap on either side and there will be something that fits in that spot just perfectly. Now, these, oh, these are also very, very handy. I bought these, a last minute purchase before we left and they only just arrived in time. This bag is actually supposed to just be for one but I've jammed two in here because I didn't wanna to have to pack two in two different bags. These are our travel pillows. Now they inflate to a lot bigger. At the moment it's still inflating itself. We put pillowcases over the top of these because the fiber is just still a little bit rough. Um, but these 
uh, just like a little memory foam rectangular pillow that you can pretty much just put on the top of the pillow that the hotel or accommodation provides and just gives you that extra bit like your pillow at home. This one, I sleep so much better when I take this pillow out and put it on the bed because um, I'm so used to it now. But we've also, we've got two of those and they roll up to such a small, such a small item in there. Very, very handy to have. Jimmy brought some hats with him, a pair of gym headphones. These ones get extremely sweaty. These are not the ones he uses on everyday phone calls or with the business. These are just gym headphones. Another power bank, or not a power bank, but like a USB bank for multiple ports. The Nintendo Switch connection dock to your TV. We found this very handy. You can play four player games when you hook it up to your TV. So we actually brought ours with us and it quite nicely packs into our suitcase. We haven't had any damage or anything to it yet. And a magnetic chessboard. This will, we'll do this all as the kids activities, but we take a chessboard as well. They've just learned how to play chess. So they find this really fun. And magnetic always helps because then it doesn't fall over. And it packs up. Very nice. Oh, Jimmy, this bag, yeah. does it does my head in this bag. It's got so many items in here just that are just like, I don't even know if I tip it no, out. No, don't tip it, it's just electronics in there. It's just extra electronics, so like bits to the camera, a microphone set, lights, like all that kind of stuff, but I've put it in here so I can kind of like mold it to the way I need it. And then I don't have to pack every singular bit. It kind of just like fits wherever I put it in the suitcase. All right, over, so that's that's your side empty. We also have a little secret compartment here as well. I just put random stuff in there. Like at the moment, there's some like gym tags we had to buy that we can use again. I've just put random stuff in there. But that's a really good spot if you need to like pack money or something like that. that you don't really see it's actually there. All right, Jimmy's top pocket, we've got a belt. I haven't seen to have used that one yet, Jimmy, but- I've here. used it once. Oh, we used it once, all right. Oh, the extra switch controllers go in here. So we've got the switch and the two controllers. And oh, Jimmy ended up with a um, army man as well in there. And some other strap things that go in there. Pack nice flat things or things that mold into something in this top pocket. A lot of people use this top pocket for like underwear and socks, but I don't find that very handy. So I just put random bits in there. And then, woo, this is Jimmy's flat side. So he has a game. I'm probably sure you probably need to do a video about this one or we yeah. have done a video about no, this one. No, I haven't one. done it. We haven't done one yet. This one we'll take a video. This is actually a game, a kid's game like Dungeons and Dragons. Yes. Um, which called just, No Thank You Evil. No Thank You Evil. Kids love it. Oh, they think it's absolutely amazing. So we put it in there and it sits flat in your suitcase. We've got a turtle neck sleeping pillow. This is for like longer flights. I don't normally put it in the hand luggage if we're on like an hour and a half or three hours because we don't normally bus sleep. Trips. But bus trips or anything longer, like a longer trip, I'll just try, I won't pack it in a suitcase. I'll just pop it in a hand luggage bag. So that's always very handy. Now, Jimmy has... Oh, somebody fell out there. Oh. Nut. Yeah. Don't Random nuts, so we will keep that one because uh, I don't know what that one's from. But we have one, two, three. Three packing cubes of clothes for Jimmy. These ones are really good. You bought these ones ages ago, but these ones actually have like an extra zip that increases the size of them, the width, and then obviously you zip it up and it compacts down really well. I'll just show you inside. These ones you can also hang. If you didn't want to unpack everything, you can actually hang them. And they've got a nice pocket here, so you can actually just fold everything and then tuck it all nicely in and it lays flat. So they're more expensive than my ones. <laughs> my ones, you just fold them up. But um, these are very, very handy for Jimmy's clothes. So he's got one for, that's a shirt one. And then uh, singlets and a pair of pants in that one. And I think this one's just shorts and gym wear. Yeah shorts and gym wear and again we've only got five to six days worth of clothes Jimmy only actually has like four pairs of shorts <laughs> and then some gym gear so we make sure we always do the washing now I'm gonna get off script here you may be thinking that that's a lot of clothes for me because it's three bags but you got to remember I'm 
twice his, the size his of... His shirts are like twice the size of yeah. mine. So every, four times the size of the kid. So you just got to remember that if you're packing and you have a husband or, you know, you're packing and you're a guy, you do need extra bags because your clothes are just physically bigger. This is our electronics bag. This one has multiple pockets and fits everything random we need that goes in it. So we've got little extra screwdrivers, the little cables, weird little bits and pieces that you, you just don't know you need um, until you need it. Like we've used one of the screwdrivers. You know what, I'll put that nut in here as well just in case so we find out what you do, you, It's amazing how often you need this. We had to open a laptop up once and we Ooh, had to use the stuff that was in here. We need the screwdriver <laughs> out of here. So yeah, it comes in very handy. So that's the top one and then it has a bigger pocket on the bottom. And this is where like we've got all sorts of converters. We've got a bigger light. There's some gym bands and watches and extra camera bits that go in here. So we play a bit of a jigsaw puzzle piece with this, but this has come in very handy because it's square or like a rectangle shape and easy to pack in a suitcase. If you had these all in just random bags or at the bottom of your carry-on, it is not easy to find. Every packing cube here has a category. So packing cubes need to have a category, whether it's pants, shirts, electronic gear, bathers, whatever the category is, you want to stay to that category so you know that the items go back in that packing cube and not just end up everywhere. I've actually bought more packing cubes and stuff along the way so we could categorize things better because I found we were getting bits and pieces that just got lost at the bottom of the suitcase. So always categorize a packing cube. Um, Jimmy's extra sandals because we've had to change out his pair of sandals. These might go home with mum and dad, maybe. <laughs> and then we have tripods and camera poles because you cannot carry... That might be what that's... That, that I think that's too. what that's from. Yeah. That's what we need that nut for. It goes on the other side of there. You cannot put these in your carry-on. These are classed as a weapon. So do not put your tripods in your carry-on. They need to go in your suitcase. So we have multiple and we have camera poles. They get put in Jimmy's bag. We also then have a sticker folder because we give out our Mitch's on the Horizon stickers and online guys stickers. Very good Asians love stickers. And then we also have a pack safe and this is a just in case item. You never know where you end up at a hotel or something and you think it's a bit dodgy or the door doesn't lock. Put everything in here, your passports, your wallets, your phones and you physically lock it to something with a padlock and they cannot get through this mesh or this bag. So that is the contents of Jimmy's suitcase. Mm -hmm. So this is how much I pack every time we move. And sometimes we're moving like yesterday, we moved, we only stayed in one spot for a day. So I tried not to take too much out, but you end up taking out too much and then having to resort it out. So how long does it take you to pack it from start to finish? From start to finish, all right. If, if everything is physically out of the suitcases, it would probably take me a good hour to an hour and a half. Like if everything was out of packing cubes and that, if it was in packing cubes already, then it's probably just simple half an hour. But everything, I remember moving from KL after we'd been there for a month and everything was out of every packing cube and every bag and I had to go and chase everything down and that took me over an hour and a half to nearly two hours, I think, to pack it back. I could have just thrown it back in there, but you know the bag's not going to zip up. So you might as well spend the time to put it back in there properly. <laughs> and you've got a list of all this stuff, right? I do actually have a list of all this stuff. Yes, I did make a list. I didn't put quantities next to every single item, I think with shirts and stuff, but I know what, what is supposed to go in there in here. But yes, I do actually have an items list of what we have packed. And you'll, we'll leave that in the description. We can definitely leave that in the description for you. And that also has um, kids like boredom busters or play things on there as well. So, yeah. Excellent. So, what do you think about two suitcases? 60 centimeter suitcases for four people. That's how much stuff you can fit in there. So you do not need a big bulky suitcase or a big bulky backpack because it can just fit in these if you pack them correctly.